we're from the Friends of Airville Park and uh, a little bit about us, we're a small group of volunteers um, in terms of our committee members but one of the things that's been really great I think about us is um, we're open, we're friendly, we're welcoming so anybody can come along to any of our meetings and anybody can get involved at any point if they've got some great ideas of activities that they'd like to see in the park or um, uh, ideas for fundraising for the uh, improvement of the uh, play equipment and the facilities that we've got in the park um, and some of the things we've done over the last year in terms of trying to get people into the park, enjoy the park um, through free events. We've had a community picnic which was really brilliant um, where people just came along sharing food, sharing stories, sort of just had a really nice fun afternoon together and that was coincided with the Joe Cox Memorial event. Um, we've done uh, free family orienteering events um, where um, people of all ages and all abilities can come and um, do a bit of orienteering in the park and what we've tried to do is uh, put the, the markers in parts of the park that people might not necessarily go to so everybody's a lot of people are familiar with Airville Park but there's still pockets that people have yet to discover so we're just trying to encourage people to get out um, have, have a bit of fun family time um, get out get out into the great outdoors and just enjoy nature and the environment um, well because it's a park for everyone isn't it you see yeah. families dog walkers people of all ages here throughout the year it's beautiful 12 months of the year here in the park and we're just trying to make it representative for yeah. everyone who lives locally and for anyone who's visiting and, uh, and we're doing really well at the moment aren't we we're getting lots of interest lots of help but we just need that little bit more to help us get the play area which yeah. we're, we're fundraising for but even as it is at the moment we've got some wonderful facilities here one of the really good things about fundraising for the children's play area is that it's really got people involved isn't yes. it and mobilized people yeah. so we had a great team of people taking part in the santa fun run this year we raised over, over a couple of hundred pounds uh, through that we've had two town hall cafes this year and yeah. um, which again well it'll be one and a half thousand pounds at least i think putting the two lot two, two fundraising events together cake sales local businesses have got involved even schools have uh, got involved this year and one of our green. biggest supporters sorry is the ukulele oh, club yes. Skips, and they've been absolutely fantastic so they've made us their charity of the year so whenever they've been playing to groups of people they've collected for us and that's been a wonderful help and, and just fantastic they're willing to do that on our behalf yeah or well, it's just wonderful that i think now as um more people are getting involved with us we're actually making links with other community yes, exactly. groups and i mean we've got loads of exciting ideas uh, for the future and the only thing that limits us really is people's um, imagination and their ability to get involved yes. and help support us and, and make it happen really yes.